And rather than going through and assigning these one at a time for each account, and I have approximately 60 accounts in this, I'm going to expedite the assignment of the tax export and any M3 codes by using the auto map feature, which we find under Tools, Options, Mapping, Autofill. By clicking the Auto Map Now button, case where working papers assigns the map numbers and related properties to the account numbers. In this case, AutoMap requires that the ratio class has been applied to the accounts prior to auto mapping. And normally, I take the time to validate the auto map, but here I'm going to assume that all accounts were properly mapped. So I'll just click OK. And we can see that the validation is requested in the mapping dialog. But as I mentioned, I'm going to assume that they're all OK. I'm not going to worry about that for now. Normally, I would take care of that. Here we do have the tax export codes that were drawn in from the mapping assignments to the accounts and I don't have any M3 accounts set up in this file. Because the tax export code was part of the mapping structure, it too has been applied to the account. This means that we are now able to create automatic documents that summarize the accounts based on the tax export code. To do this, let's return to the document manager. Now in the document manager, I happen to have an income tax returns folder. So let's look at the properties of the income tax returns folder for a moment. And on the general tab, what we'll see is that if we're going to lock down this engagement file, the tax folder doesn't necessarily require an explanation when adding documents after lockdown. So I can check that. And so if a tax professional is working in this file after it's been locked down, they can continue to add documents to that folder. I also don't wish to lock down the folder, so I'll leave it unlocked and click OK. Now by doing that, if I were to show my lockdown column, we'll see that when I unchecked the lockdown property for income tax returns folder, it did remove them for the other two documents that were in that folder. I'm going to just hide that column because we don't need to see it right now.